Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint. What I want to have a look at in this module is how you can send a Word document into PowerPoint and create slides automatically. Now the trick to this is that in Word you need to have used heading styles. If you use heading styles, those styles will convert into slides in PowerPoint depending on what level of heading you have used. So for example this document as a heading style 1 you can see it there that will create a slide in PowerPoint when I do this and a heading uh, style 2 will be a bullet on that slide. So you can see as I come down there we've got some 2's but if I change some of these to 1's let's put these two chap to a heading 1 so I'll leave that on two and come down through this document and just basically put all the chapters to heading one. Um, and I'll put that to heading one as well, specialist program. Put that to heading one and I'll just change case on that one so it looks like this. So we've got several headings and you can see them there. If I go to the view tab and select navigation pane you can see the structure of this document like so go back and just check that's what that is that's a heading I'll put that to heading two so it comes inside like that there's nothing under heading two there but that is a heading with benefits underneath it and if I click on that let's just go to that one that's heading one and benefits is a heading two and then specialist program just done part two click to that one that's heading one as well so all the heading ones will be slides so in PowerPoint it will create this structure what you then have to do is obviously it's not going to bring this text in and you don't really want to put a big lump of text on a PowerPoint slide anyhow but what you can do is copy and paste bits of this and put them in the notes area in PowerPoint and then just uh, thin it down a bit so you can or maybe put a bullet list in the notes so you've got the information that you need to speak to so what we have to do once we've got the heading styles and this can be done on any document I mean if I quickly create a new document you just need to um, click on the heading style type intro duction because that's a quick, uh, quick pass goes back to normal you can see that you type your text I'll type intro actually because that is quick parts Sell some text and then you want another heading heading two so you select that and then you type part one so that's how you do heading styles type intro again so I get some more text get rid of that rubbish so nothing weird and wonderful about selecting heading styles you might want to edit some of these styles because I don't particularly like that being in blue but once you've got heading styles you can do what I'm going to show you in a second and even if you've got a uh, a bit of text where it says part two and you just made it bold so you make it bold so I'll just do control B for that that is still normal it's not a heading style but all you do is you just highlight it and click on the heading style you want and then you've converted it to a heading style it looks very similar so it's probably the same format if you want to look at the format you just go right click modify so what is this font bold color black etc etc that's what the, that's the style of this and you can change that if you want so I'll just cancel that off and then I'm just going to do Control W to close this document you can press N for not save or you can click don't save but you see this little underscore on the N and the underscore on the S it means you can just press those letters on the keyboard so N for no, no savey back to this document so what we need to do is we need to get centre PowerPoint up here now I've already got it there but it wasn't there initially obviously these are all features that I've added to the quick access toolbar so you need to go to more commands from the end there and it's on popular commands just put it to all commands click into this list and then just type the letter S for send which will take you down to the S's and then you can come into send to find send it's alphabetical Centre PowerPoint we're looking for, Centre Microsoft PowerPoint, you find it, add it across, it's already there, 
and then you've got it on your quick access toolbar so all I need to do is click that button and wait for it to open up a PowerPoint slide for me so once PowerPoint's opened I'll just bring it onto this screen so you can see it and enable editing open that full screen you can see the the headings there's the heading one and there's a slide there's a bullet on it heading one bullet that we created get rid of this blank slide at the top so obviously there's no details on there but you could do some more heading twos if you want a, a bullet list to appear and if we just click on this normal button again you get the outline which is the same outline or a similar outline as you saw in word so basically that is being just transferred across so now what you would do let's say you want this information as a note you copy that you go into PowerPoint and let's say you want it on there you add your notes at the bottom you just paste it in and maybe then just sort it out a little bit and create a, a numbered list or something like that just bring the paragraphs down just to make it look nice highlight that click on one two three and you've got three points to talk about on this particular slide I have seen some PowerPoint presentations where the notes uh, are just over the top total too many notes nobody is ever going to read all these notes out on a slide well if you did everybody in the audience would be asleep but basically that's the process I wanted to talk about in this little video how you can add the send to button to the quick access toolbar add heading styles to your document easily enough heading one becomes a slide heading two is a bullet on that slide and heading three would be a sub bullet of that so you would get another indent in there very simple to do you click that off it goes into PowerPoint and there you go you can then copy and paste your notes in so hopefully that was of use for you thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one